Here's the line y equals 2x. Here's the origin, and here's point x is 1, and so this would be the equation x is 1, this line right here. So we're going to see this shape rotated around this line. Got to go slowly. Let's try that again. Once again, you see we get a cone shape coming around here. We'll look at it in just a minute. So the, the, the cross-sections here are circles, and we're going to see that if we put this back the way we were looking at it before, with the um, axis of rotation being right here at x equals 1, we would have the radius here, pi r squared. We get an area times dy and we'd integrate that, and we would get the volume of this cone. I previously recorded some videos of 3D graphing of this situation, where the line y equals 2x and y equals 0 and x equals 1, where this, this blue region that's marked off in this graph is rotated around various axes. You can watch those movies to see what the shapes look like. I would like to integrate the shapes so that we can see how the problems are actually worked if somebody asks you to find the volume as is indicated here. And the first one we're going to deal with is revolving this shape around the line x equals 1. Well the line x equals 1 is this purple line right here. So we're going to see what happens when this revolves around there. Now you have to get your imagination in tune to see what's going on. If you can imagine this thing rotating around, I hope that you can see that it would form sort of, if I try to sketch it three-dimensionally, it would go completely around here. And on the other side, the blue triangle would trace out another triangle like this and then it would come around the back and we would get this cone shape. And now to use calculus to integrate various cross sections of this shape to get the area. One of the things I want to call your attention to, and maybe some of you see it already, is that you have to decide is your integral going to be a dy integral or a dx integral. And that depends on the situation. Now you have to analyze it and say, if I were cutting a cone and I wanted all the cross sections to be of the same type so I could make a pattern for integration, if I cut it this way, I would get no, no kind of uniformity that would be easy to deal with. Whereas if we cut it horizontally and imagine that cone shape being sliced, slice. Let's slice it twice. If we if we slice it in here and we get a cut the cross section out, we would get a sort of a disc shape, and it would have a certain thickness. And the top of it would be a circle, and the bottom would be a circle. The sides would be sort of going out. But if we think about the limit of this, as these two cuts get closer and closer together that would be a dy is getting closer to zero. So in this case, we're trying to find a representative slice that has dy thicknesses. So once we decide that the thickness is a dy, then we know that the integrand here has to be in terms of y. So what we need is the volume this would be the height, the dy would be the height of this little disk, and the area 
times the height the area is going to be pi r squared. So we need to find a formula for this circle cut that's right here. And we need to know its radius. Now the only thing we have to work with here is this y equals 2x and this y boundary of 0 and x equals 1 boundary. We can see that the integral is going to go from zero, a y of 0 up to a y of 2. And then this area is going to be pi r squared. Let me pause this because the doorbell just rang. So we need to find the formula for the area of this cross section and multiply it by dy to get a sliver of area. And then when we integrate it, we'll get the sum of all the volumes of all the little slivers, the infinite number of them, and we will get the volume of the revolved figure. So we need to find the radius of this. Now, the only thing we can work with is this y equals 2x. So if we, obviously, the radius is in the x direction. So if we solve that, we get x is equal to y over 2. Now, it's very easy to think that that y over 2 is the radius, but it isn't. If you actually think about what this x is, the x is the distance from here to here. So we want to make sure this is right. Now the simplicity of this scenario might have made things so that we could get the right answer incorrectly, but this is the actual x distance. We need the radius right here. So the radius would be this 1 this distance of 1 minus the y over 2. So the radius is equal to 1 minus y over 2. And the area is pi r squared. So it's going to be pi. And the r is 1 minus y over 2 squared. Now a constant multiplier can be moved outside of the integrand. So we have to integrate this. So I'm going to have to expand this binomial. And my Algebra 1 teacher made us memorize to square binomial. Square the first term. 2 times the first term times the second term, minus y. And square the last term. And this would all be multiplied by dy. Now if we integrate that, we get pi, and we get y minus y squared over 2 plus y cubed over 12 evaluated from 0 to 2. So this looks like it's going to be Putting 2 up here, we get pi times 2, and then minus 4 over 2, 2. And it looks like it's going to be 8. Twelfths. The twos are going to kill each other off, so we end up with two-thirds pi for the area of this cone-shaped thing. I hope you're able to follow that. Thanks. Bye.